More than 16 million men and women served in the armed forces during World War II. On April 29, 2004, the first national memorial dedicated to all who served during World War II officially opened in Washington, D.C. Since the World War II memorial opened nearly 60 years after the end of the war, many of the veterans have not had a chance to see the memorial dedicated in their honor. The mission of Music City Honor Flight is to fly World War II veterans to Washington, D.C. to see the memorial that was built to honor their sacrifice for our country. It's a trip of a lifetime, really, because I didn't think I'd ever get back up here. I'd been to Washington before, before this. One for this, why I wouldn't have been able to come. Thanks to Music City Honor Flight, the veterans are given an all-expense-paid VIP trip to our nation's capital. A special day-long trip for the veterans begins at Nashville International Airport. While waiting for a chartered jet to fly them to Washington, D.C., the veterans and their guardians are treated to breakfast. Breakfast and, and the people, uh, and you couldn't do anything. They wanted to wait on your hand and foot, and it was just terrific, just terrific. Major General Max Haston, the commanding general of the Tennessee National Guard, took time out of his day to meet and greet the veterans. These guys that are sitting here today, is why we're sitting here. They made history. They, uh, they are the greatest generation. And every day we lose uh, you know, nearly a thousand World War II veterans. And, uh, and uh, if we miss an opportunity to say thank you to these, these heroes, we may not ever get it again. And they are, they, they are absolutely the reason this country is the way it is today. I mean, you know, and we enjoy the freedoms that we do because these guys sitting behind us here. Guys like Army Corps veteran Ken Larson, who served as a B-17 tail gunner and survived many close calls with German fighters. I was engaging one of them, and I didn't see another one coming in. And the one I engaged, I sent him smoking into the clouds, and the next one shot me with his 20 millimeter. I got shot through the thigh and, and through the back. And he then figured he had killed me, so he circled around. He was going to come in for the kill, and I Pooling. I nailed him good. The next thing he was going smoking down into the clouds. Each Music City Honor Flight is able to take 102 veterans on a special trip to Washington, D.C. And sharing the experience with federal veterans makes the trip even more rewarding. And we get to talk about things. The things that I've told you when we first came back, we never talked about that. During the Music City Honor Flight trip, there's one guardian for every three veterans to ensure the veterans have the best possible experience. Many along the journey help make the trip memorable. Thank you for serving our country. This is how the Music City Honor Flight veterans are greeted at Reagan International Airport before they board one of three charter buses for a guided tour around Washington, D.C. Proud you're here. Thank you. Jim Cooper, good to see you. First step, the World War II Memorial where the veterans were greeted by Congressman Jim Cooper as they exited the bus. I got to get a picture while I'm here. Been wanting to do it for five or six years. I live under the old adage, if you want something bad enough, you're willing to wait, it'll come your way. This is it. It's beyond speakable, I guess. It's nice. It's amazing, and I, it makes you, makes you feel, feel good in your heart of what the people that gave their lives to help bring us about, you know. And all we the fortunate ones, we got to come home. A lot of them didn't. We appreciate your service. Thank you. Thank you all. It is moments like this when school children stop to say thanks, which help make the journey extra special for the veterans. They all came up and said thank you for your service and good luck, and they kissed his hand and they held hands with him and shook his hand. It was uh, quite a scene. Before their extraordinary day is over, the veterans are treated to one more special welcome home at Nashville International Airport.